Check it out, folks. Got ourselves a decent heifer here. Now, apparently, this place belongs to an insurance adjuster. We're gonna hop up here. Can't see exactly where this tree came from as of yet, but I can see that gutter was taken out by a tree. Not on a dinner date either. ourselves a gaper here so yeah looks like a tree came down from over there put a hole here took that gutter out but they got lucky don't see no holes on that side don't even see any bad scuffing chimney is already capped off made out pretty lucky some scuffs here the camera picks that up and that back pie, I checked that, looks good too. No wind damage, no tree damage. No craziness. Boys, the shit winds are blowing out here, buddy. You know, Jim Leahy said her best, pal. I'm going, I'm going. Folks, when I come to the four-way, I dominate a four-way, no question. I'm telling you boys, she is windy today. But check it out. A couple new toys, boys. Got myself one of them pitch hoppers. 24 inch friggin' yellow. And then I'm sticking all yellow, boys, because uh, I'm not much of a DeWalt guy. I got full rigid sets, but I needed one of these here cordless blasters, buddy. Handy dandy. So I ended up buying the gun, and then to save money on the battery, it was cheaper to buy a fucking drill set. So I got the drills too. And so now I got three batteries, charger. I had another drill, so two impacts and that sucker all for DeWalt, plus all my ridge and stuff. So we're partying, baby. Got yourself there, that poly repair pal. Spot here looks like a good chunk of tree came down. Dislocated his chimneys. Section likely bang some good holes in this roof. That's why we got all the wood and all the fun names, all the fun stuff. Now I'm getting in his way, he's gonna hit me with his ripper. Anyways, you know the deal, boys. Full report, temp repairs. Looks like a tree came down over here, too. Left its friggin' marking on everything. Look at this. Holy hot dogs. I know what that's from. These holes are the real deal, buddy. It's called the out of catch right there. Oh yeah. Fun times. What did it do? It removed the bats too. Huh, hell of a wind. No, they probably got wet and the insurance guy probably yanked them out of somebody else. Neighbor, whoever patched it. But yeah, nice gaper on it. Didn't stand a chance. Looks like a fairly large part of a tree that hit. Yeah. That just looks like an angry lad smucked it. Boom! Right there. See that? Bang, buddy. Had it with that. Three holes, pal. Huh. Well, got it patched up. Something that'll last a little bit longer than that poly. Boys, I'm telling you, that cordless DeWalt, this is a game changer on a little thing like this, pal. Get that done in about two seconds, no problem. Sealed up around top of this chimney where it all broke. That looks pretty, I don't think that's gonna leak. Just enough mortar in there, sealing all those rocks and Sealed up a bunch of random holes found all across these two roof sections here. Likely when that tree fell, it was hanging over this peak, poking into this whole area too. That's at least what the evidence shows, folks. So, uh, carrying on. Listen, boys, on Shimong Lake Monster. Look at this thing. This whole roof's been racked. Show them how these shingles are sealed, Ian. They're not, it's the friggin' answer. Yeah, the whole roof's racked with like a, barely a six inch friggin' yeah. stagger on it. 
So guess what, folks? His girlfriend wouldn't even say that was six inches. His girlfriend wouldn't even admit that that was a six incher. She'd probably tell it like it is and say that's a five, boy. But anyways, it's unfortunate that uh, little patch there, just iced that up, nailed all these unlapped shingles. It's like 10 patches on this. Looks like they've been patching away on that for years. Decent sized lid over here, attached garage. Little chimney hiding, Shimong Lake out there. Beautiful view. Yeah, I got a nice attached garage, two dormers. More big patch of blow offs here. And you can see, boys, there's more blow offs on the side of this garage. Man, the shingling on this roof is horrible. Look, look at this. Who the hell does that, buddy? Look at this. That's a nail line that exposed. Down on this valley. Down there. The dormer's got a different, that one side of the storm has already been done because that's autumn brown and this ain't. Oh, I think that's original. Somebody thought it was clever to. They're coming into the valley instead of continuing to run this how it should have been well they should have had it cut back so there's a decent lap keeping it out of the valley and brought this in and cut it look they just decided to tuck a little piece on its side there and i actually did notice that when i was standing down on the deck i can see something like that from a mile away buddy i could see it from out there on that little island see the little island and that's a big issue, boys. Like Ian just said it. I guarantee you none of those tits are cut. If you're a roofer, you know what it means to cut the tits. If you don't, I can explain it. So when this shingle is cut, right? This is your exposed section. Six inches exposed. Well, there's another six inches of the back that gets covered. Well, when that back runs into this valley, if it's just cut straight and you don't take the tid off the end, when the water shoots down this slope, it's designed to come down this slope and it will go up under these shingles, but then it will run back out like this. So if your water's coming down and this tit's not cut off the back of this shingle up here, when this water rides in, it's going to get up on the back of it and it's going to ride its way along that lip far enough that it can get behind your starter and your ice and water shield and i mean looking at this job i'd be shocked if there was proper ice and water shield and then boys you get a leak so cut your tits simple mathematics but yeah you can tell on a glance like somebody's gonna overlap shingles for a half inch right there what the hell is that? What the heck is even that? It's a joke. That's what that is. So anyways, boys, getting it drawn up, measured out. I was working on measurements. Ian was patching. He's like, yeah, I had a roofer patch it, and it quit leaking everywhere except the one spot. And it's clearly because they shit the bed on it. Missed a spot. What do we got here? That's not going to leak, but that's going to be... A wind damage area next time we get some wind because there ain't shit sealed on it simple math boys anyways carrying on oh boys wind got a hold of this one squeeze the life out of her pal holy soft spot there Yee -hee. party time baby What's she measure? 26. Told you there was a soft spot, boys. I just stepped through her there. So careful, Eni. Oh, look at the wood. Look at, I can just grab a chunk of that dry rotted wood. Delicious. In there, no, it's just open into the garage. I don't want to drop this down the hole. But anyways, boys, that's why you gotta just step lightly. Even if you weigh 300 pounds like me, you think light, you know? 